A lot of brouhaha on this New York Times piece that came out Saturday with a follow-up Sunday that the president's White House counsel, Don McGahn, has spent nine months and 30 hours uh, with the special counsel's office. Now, I've been hearing that's no big deal, that's fake news because uh, the president said all these people should talk to the special counsel. Maybe fake news, but it is a big deal. The advice that the president received from his earlier private counsel, that McGahn should speak to the special counsel and anybody else, because this will put us behind us, is about as absurd as anything I've ever heard of. It's the White House counsel's job to be counsel to the president of the United States, not for his private matters, but for his presidential matters. There is no lawyer for the office of the president of the United States. Anymore, there's a lawyer for the office of the secretary of defense. Officers don't get lawyers. He's not some ombudsman or some general counsel to the office. No. He's selected by the president. He serves the president in his official presidential capacity. And he's there to protect the president and try and give the president guidance to make wise decisions. So this whole thing is built on a house of cards. Mr. Trump did not and could not obstruct justice in the Russia matter. He's not fired anybody. Oh, well, he fired Comey. Right. But the Russia matter goes on. It goes on. Comey is a holdover. holdover. It's the director of the FBI by the former president of the United States. Of course he can fire Comey for any reason he wants. Think of it the other way. What if he couldn't fire Comey for any reason he wants? Then an FBI director has the power to effectively blackmail politically a president of the United States because he can't fire him? The CIA director, same thing. Secretary of Defense, same thing. Secretary of State, same thing. President has plenary power. He is the executive branch. He can fire whomever he wishes, particularly at a presidential level. These are presidential appointees. They are political appointees. Of course he can fire them. For more, sign up for Levin TV.